So let's imagine we have a large database full of records. So in this case, we have a bunch of fruit. There's 62 different fruit in this list. Um, it's a very small example. You might imagine that there's thousands, tens of thousands, millions of records in our list. We want to be able to find something in that list of records quickly. Um, and we don't want to have to do it inefficiently. So for example, suppose I'm looking for Lime in my database. Um, a very simple way to do that would be to just look at the first item. Is it a Lime? The second item, is it a Lime? The third item, is it a Lime? And eventually you would find the Lime record, but we can actually do a lot better than that and find the Lime record a lot quicker. And so let's develop an algorithm uh, to do that. So let's say we are searching for guava. What I'm going to do is take the list and I'm going to look at the item that's in the middle of the list. So there's 62 uh, different items. The middle item could be fig. And so we know that fig comes before guava. So we can eliminate this whole first half of the list. We don't even have to check any of the records before fig. So those are eliminated. And we can focus on all the items after fig. Okay, so I'm gonna look at all the items after fig and I'm gonna do what I just did again. I'm gonna cut the list in half. And so the middle item would be uh, loquat. And loquat alphabetically comes after lime. So we know that lime has to be somewhere in between fig and loquat. So we've got this little sub list here. We've eliminated this and we're just focusing on this part of the list. And so we take the midpoint, uh, the middle item in this list. Let's say it's huckleberry. Huckleberry comes before lime. So we're going to eliminate this part of the list and now we're just dealing with these. And we keep repeating the process. We know that lime comes after kiwi. And we find the midpoint again. And we know that lime comes after lemon. And then we find lime. And so we've done that in one, two, three, four, five, about five steps. Whereas if we had searched sequentially through the list, uh, it would have taken us uh, 45 tries. So let's do another example using coconut. So once again, we cut the list in half. Coconut comes before fig. So now we're dealing with this part of the list. We cut this part of the list in half and we get cherry as our middle midpoint. We know that coconut comes after cherry. So now we're dealing with this section of the list. And we cut this list in half. And we're looking at current. Now current comes after coconut. So coconut must be in this section of the list. We get the midpoint here. Coconut comes after cloudberry. Cut in half again, cranberry. So now we're dealing with this part of the list and this is the only item left and we eventually find it. Let's do another example. So this time we're gonna search for durian. So we start with zero and 61. We find the midpoint, round down and we get fig. Fig comes after durian. So I'm gonna move my right pointer one to the left of fig because we know it's got to be somewhere in the, in the part of the list that comes before fig. And now we've got 0 and 29. Add them together, divide by 2, you get 14. Cherimoya comes before durian. So we're going to take the left marker and we're going to put it one past cherimoya on the right hand side. 15 and 29 make 44 divided by 2 is 22. 
current comes before durian. So we're going to put the left marker one past current on the right hand side, that damson. So we've got 23 and 29, that makes 40, uh, 52 divided by 2 is 26. So this time we happen to hit it right on durian and we stop the algorithm. This time we're going to search for eggplant. So 0, 61 divided by 2 gives us 30, which is fig. Fig comes after eggplant. So I'm going to take the right marker and put it to the left of fig. 29 and 0 divided by 2 gives me 14. Cherimoya is before eggplant, so I'm going to take my left marker, put it on the right hand side of Cherimoya. 15 and 29 give me 44 divided by 2 is 22 or current. Current comes before eggplant, so I'm going to take my left marker and put it on the right side of current. So now we're only considering this part of the list. 23 and 29 make 52 divided by 2 is 26. Durian comes before eggplant alphabetically. So we know that what we're looking for has to be between these two arrows, 27 uh, to 29. So we take 27 and 29, we add them up and divide by 2 and we get 28. Now, we don't know we're actually looking at eggplant because we didn't check it. We checked durian, but we just went one to the right. So we actually don't know that we're pointing at it. Um, so we're going to check 28, elderberry. Elderberry comes after eggplant. So I'm going to take my right hand marker and I'm going to put it on 27. So now they're both on 27. I'm going to add them together, divide by 2, and of course I get 27. And I have what I'm looking for, which is eggplant. Okay, so what if we search for something that is not in our list? So we're going to search for french fries, which isn't in this list. What's going to happen to the algorithm? So we are looking for french fries. We've got 0 and 61. Add them together, divide by 2, we get 30. Fig comes before french fries. So I'm going to take my left marker and I'm going to put it one past fig. So now we've got 31 and 61, which makes 92. Divided by 2 is 46. Lychee comes bef uh, sorry, after french fries. So I'm going to take my right marker and put it on the left side. So now I'm considering this left half of the list. And 31 and 45 make 76, which when you add them together and divide by 2 gives you 38. Jackfruit. Jackfruit is after french fries, so I'm going to take my right marker and put it on the other side of jackfruit, which is the left side. 37 and 31 make 68. To add them together. Uh, and divide by 2 gives you 34, which is grapefruit. Grapefruit is after french fries. Grape and goji berry add up to 32. And so add, add to uh, 64 and divide by 2 gives you 32. And gooseberry comes after french fries. So I'm going to put my marker one to the left of that. And at this point, I see that I've got goji berry when I add them together and divide by two. And goji berry is after french fries. So I move one to the left. Now, at this point, my right marker is to the left of my left marker and that signifies that what we're looking for is not in the list. So because the, uh, the right marker has gone to the left of the left one, 
we stop the algorithm and conclude that what we're looking for is not in the list.